Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether. And Leo, I came to do an energy check-in for you for the month of March. All right? Now, I do read reversals. However, it's at Spirit's discretion. Okay? And this may apply to Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Mercury, as well as your north node for those that don't have their birth chart i suggest that you do get it and it is free you can google it oh beautiful card from um any site i use cafe astrology and it will give you your placements of your chart okay so I must tell you Leo right that I attempted to do this reading three times before okay and the energy was about freedom it was about opening the door someone feeling trapped and needing to stand in their power and also taking responsibility but for some reason that energy did not want to be taped okay so I had to switch up my whole meditation process and everything else to be able to do this reading so I'm hoping that this one go through okay so here we have the it's kind of blurry there we have the Jaguar spirit animal totem for you this is the animal totem that you'll be using this could apply um, in the future, for some of it, it, you know, this reading may already happen and you may connect with it on a different level. This is this is about release, okay? So this energy wants to be told no matter what, okay? So, with that being, ooh, okay, yeah. With that being said, I'm going to get into the message from the book of the, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so we have the Orca um, crowning this reading. And, oh, songlessness. See, I haven't seen any of these cards, so this is very interesting. All right, so we're going to go ahead um, and go to the book for this reading. But what I'm getting um, from this particular energy is someone has seen the light Okay, they're coming from the light and they're purging. Okay, they're letting go of people, places, or things that do no longer serve them. Or this is what you're needing to do and you might be um, needing some guidance through this situation. So intuitive, intuitively, I'm getting that someone is not speaking their truth. Okay, they're holding back. All right. Oh, Peacock Spirit shows up. Who had Peacock? Peacock. Oh, okay. So you may be an Aries, Sun, or Moon. You might have it in your Venus or something. You might want to check out the Aries reading. Um, okay, because this animal did come here. I mean, come here. <laughs> Show up in that reading. <laughs> That's a message for somebody. Somebody gonna come here? I don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> This is about prosperity. So someone is seeing their uh, prosperity um, or ways of getting prosperity differently because of their enlightenment. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Aries. This could apply to a cross watcher as well. Okay, so someone feels at this current moment um, that they can't speak the truth. Or they're, you know, um, they feel void of emotion, I'm getting. Oh, yeah, someone, okay. Someone feels attacked, I'm getting with the shark card. And um, if you can see, it says purpose down there, okay. So this is a triggering point for many of you. This is what I'm really, really, really getting. Okay, yeah. This is a triggering point. And, you know, at this point, you might be looking for a way to get out of a situation. Um, 
Yeah, because you've learned what you needed to learn. You, some of you may be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. But before I want to read the Jaguar Spirit, so give me a minute to locate it in the book. All right, so the message for the Jaguar Spirit is the Pantheria Anka. All right, and here you go. Oh, see that there? All right, and this is about releasing what you no longer need. Take action to move something from the ideas world into the physical world. Let go of the old and stale and choose renewal. Wash away the negative aspects of the past. Surrender it all and embrace the new. Okay, so you might be having a hard time. It might be feeling a little bit challenging for you. And you might not, I'm getting, can't find the words. I might have to explore this. Some, I feel like someone can't seem to find the words. Um, they're finding some difficulty for speaking the truth. All right. And that is a part of your transformation. Someone is needing to speak the truth about standing in their divine purpose you are being guided by spirit okay some of you may feel like you were i'm getting some of you felt like what is the energy surrounding leo that you were dealing with the green eye monster when i look into that jaguar's eyes all right so so you know <clears throat> All right, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, North Node, okay? Um, this is telling me, or Taurus, and this is telling me, for those that, are, you know, are not dealing with those signs or may not know the other's individual signs, <clears throat> which is very important. Um, for me, this is saying karmic cycles, um transformations um, and what I mean by that is ending things to start anew okay and when I think about Scorpio for me um, you know they very much like to maintain the status quo um, you know, they bring up things that are hidden within you. And Scorpios tend to trigger people into transformation. And that's really a lot of their um, divine purpose. They really go for things that are hidden. And sometimes they tend to be a little bit stubborn because that is a fixed energy. Is very aggressive, very intense, and very emotional. And they'll pull these um, attributes out of you, okay? And when you com um, compare that, I mean, well, when you merge that with the bull, we're talking about the Venus, God of love, okay? Which also likes to be very much... Um, into the status quo there into uh, the tangible things things that we can touch taste and feel they're very much about love um, you know and they love very hard okay so for some of you this is about partnerships you know and this could be with your finances some of you might be having to release jobs or um, if you have family businesses you might be in the process of maybe going into some type of uh, power struggle with this Mars energy here 
you could be very much in your masculine energy because yeah and then we have venus here with the taurus and then we have scorpio which is very much about uh pluto's energy and we're talking about um healing we're talking about obsessive um behaviors and so this is why i associate <clears throat> Scorpio, oh shit, yeah, and then we have Saturn here, okay, so this is the hard task maker, um, you could be dealing with the Capricorn or an Aquarius as well, or have it heavily in your chart, this is about taking authority through um, actions, um, um, through your actions, karma, you know, karmic cycles, which was came up in the other two readings as well wanting to free yourself from a cycle um like um a, a continuous cycle like feeling like you've been trapped okay and this is probably why we have that saturn energy here because now you have to learn the lesson to be able to free yourself okay that's what i'm getting Okay, and that's why you have to have some discipline and close uh, some of these chapters by learning your lesson. Okay, so Mars is about Scorpio as well, so a lot of you are dealing with Scorpios. Okay, that is uh, this is Leo. Okay, yeah, so Leo is that that's two masculine energies. So some of you may be dealing with Aries or you can have that stronger in your chart. So yeah, this is about um, new beginnings. <laughs> we have Earth. Yeah, and we have another eight here. So this is about new beginnings and the way you see things, the way you value things, you know, and bringing justice to those uh, karmic cycles. Here we have water again. You know, bringing justice to those karmic cycles, learning the lesson, closing the doors safely without the aggression of Mars. All right. Um, and then with the Orca, you know, having, you know, you, you got to have uh, speak the truth to be able to free yourself from this karmic cycle. OK, um, and do it with purpose. Some of you are being triggered purposely by that. um Scorpio Pluto energy okay yeah and and it's causing you you know to you have to move like a fox like a red fox some of you might have some connection with uh, great, uh, Fred Sanford you might you know no, that's funny that's the first time I ever got that type of channel some of you might like <laughs> those old type of movies like that um, or sitcom whatever Right, Leo. Let's see if we can bring some healing to the situation. Uh, <clears throat> give you some uh, different uh, outlook. I have. I'm a Cancer Sun and a Cancer Rising, with a Virgo Virgo Moon. So, you know, you know, they say we clash, but we really get each other once we get to uh, that higher level. Because it's that duality, you know, it's about balancing. And that's what you're looking for right now. So you very much need to take a dip into them damn waters. And some of you are needing to do a spiritual bath. I'm getting that really strongly. Or herbal cleanse. The same with Aries. I'm getting that. Like, really needing to get into some salt water. And release all. And just cry for some of y'all. Some of y'all need a good cry. Okay? So... Um, oh, we have slave there. Wow. Okay, so we have the Avenger card here, right? And this is about the desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. I believe this might have came up in Aries as well. And a shadow attribute is resorting to violence. Why is my tongue all twisted? <laughs> resorting to oh, Mercury retrograde. Okay. That's probably why you might feel a little like some of y'all in y'all feels don't know what to say, 
you know, so you feel out of your element. All right. Oh, I need to put my oil. Okay. So resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Mm. Some of you feel like you're a slave to the cause. I'm a slave to the cause, Eva. Don't be a slave to the cause. Okay. Mm -mm. Got no, don't be a slave to the cause. It's not, we don't want to play the martyr. We're not playing martyr. We're not doing the martyrdom in 2020. Okay, I need you to elevate. Free your mind. All right. Take some of that Scorpio uh, energy uh, that the creator so grace gracefully meshed you with to learn that beautiful lesson. Oh, why did I do that? I must want to pick another card. All right. <laughs> and still. Hmm, that was interesting. <laughs> we still have servant. All right. Okay, so. Uh, that was interesting that I did that. It might it's the message here all right so some of you are artists this could be painting this could be the music industry this could be dancing um you know or just you know book writing okay and the lighter attributes of this is expressing uh, expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses inspiring others to see life symbolically okay and Instantly, I'm getting that, um, you know, yeah. This is a Scorpio card for me. Okay, this gives me Scorpio energy so much. Okay, and the shadow attribute of this is using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as a starving artist to explicit pity. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so some of you might be in a... A situation where you might be fighting with a child's parent okay you might feel because the, the slave card was here before and now we have servant okay that's just a, I'm not even gonna read that card because I don't want to get into that energy but what that is telling me is someone feels um, used someone feels abused in their um, with their rights Okay, they feel like they're dealing with someone that constantly uses emotional man manipulation with the Scorpio card here and the Taurus energy. And then, oh, yeah, at the bottom, we have Destroyer. Okay, so this is, um, I'm getting Aries. Okay, so some of you are dealing with the Aries and my hand is itching. Okay, so some of you had some, some type of incident with your money. OK, uh, this is releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. All right. And um, intoxication with destructive power, destroying others, dreams or potential. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. OK. Yeah. And then we have the mentor, mentor, core, mentor core here. So this person was um, a soulmate, whether if you want to. And this is what my guys want me to tell you, whether you want to accept it. Some of you might accept it. Some of you might not. It might be easier for you to move along with this. But this is a soul contract you have with this person, whether if you developed a family uh, or something this is something that is very much I'm not going to take these cards um, th this is something that is very much um, something that was karmic that you had to clear and you are you have to clear uh, peacefully to be able to clear your conscious conscious some of you might be uh, in realization of that and you're ready to step out and be fierce OK, and some of you were triggered by someone um, confronting you in a hostile uh, manner. OK, you might felt like you had to um, be some type of avenger in a situ situ situation. Why? Is, I mean, uh, 
this energy is so like crazy surrender to inner peace i'm not gonna take it all right but cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moment meditative moments Okay, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. All right. And then we have Salimber. So, so <laughs> Surrender the drama. Some of y'all need to get in the hell away from these people. You might realize this now. If you are an older individual and this is a karmic cycle for you, you may have felt some comfort in these people and so it's kind of shocking you yeah it's kind of shocking you that you have to cut these individuals off all right with the surrender to obsessive thinking if you are obsessing about a person or situation turn to turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem and spirit want me to go back to the orca all right okay songlessness okay some of you are thinking so much to the point um, for, for some of you is the awareness of some information that you may have recently came um, into um, you know a knowledge of and I'm getting that with this artist card and the obsessive thinking some of you um, are using your artistry, your art, um, art. Some of you feel inspired, okay, to create. And some of you feel like your creation is being blocked. Um, and, and I do feel like it is being blocked for some of you guys because you keep taking the apple anytime I see that red apple it makes me think of uh, the poisonous apple you know the Adam and Eve story and my guys know that you know um, I keep wanting to shuffle that's interesting okay so let me go ahead and get another card it must be meant six cards it is Leo all right <clears throat> So the other card was surrender, surrender to play, okay? Um, and I think for uh, for many of you, you are needing to do that to get your creativity back. You're needing to disconnect from the situation that is causing you so much stress to be able to get your creativity back. And that's why the release card is here, all right? Some of you just need a good cry because you're purifying yourself of your past. And you're coming into like um, newfound information about your family and you're just needing to, um, you know, get a good cry and be accepting of it. And if it's something that you can change, that's something within yourself, then you go ahead and you work towards changing that. And those individuals that's around you that are trying to get in your face or ridicule you or tease you or whatever... You know, that's a part of their soul contract and it's a part of you to be fierce and stand in your righteousness and stand in your truth. OK, so some of you are needing to surrender to effort effortlessness because you are thinking too hard or you're working too hard to make I I'm getting the illusion real. All right. So. Um, it's stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Okay. And in doing that, you will get your creativity back. This is what spirit is the message that spirit wants. And now I see why they wanted me to do it this way. Okay. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. All right. Some of you are not um, listening to your creative self. You're, you, you're taking advice from others that don't know your path because some of you have a special calling and you can't get in, uh, advice from people that you know, if, if you are sent here to do something that's never done before, you how can you get advice from someone that has never done it? It's like they're going to meet, you're going to be met, met with resistance all the time. All right. Yeah, this is, this is what surrendered to trust. You have to trust yourself. 
Like some of you is praying and praying and praying, and then you going outside of yourself to get the answer. No, you meditate and you get the answer and trust yourself. In order for you to trust yourself, that means you got to let go of all the negative people that's telling you you wrong. Are you tripping? Are you crazy or whatever? Well, fuck it. If you're crazy, or get get away, get somewhere silent where you can get uncrazy. All right. So you got to trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Like, that's the karmic cycle. Fear. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck, we have fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Okay? Some of you are with people or been around uh, karmics that are telling you you can't do what you do. And you already know because spirit then told you or God or whatever it is and then told you. That this is what you need to do, but for whatever reason, you have a fear of standing in your calling. Maybe because it's something that's never been done before, I feel like, for some of you. And you have no reference. You have no guide. Because you are the fucking guide. You are what you have been looking for. Yo, it's you. <laughs> you are. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. Shit. <laughs> Hey, why is Scorpio here? Mm, we have a card that's upside down there. Here you go. Mm, four of Pentacles. All right, let's go ahead and shuffle this just a little bit, you know. Because the cards want to stick together. You know, y'all stuck. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's why y'all need to get in that salt water. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all probably ain't bait. Not like that. But, like, if you're a man, if this is masculine energy, you definitely need to, like, submerge yourself in some water. Like, you know. Why is Scorpio here? Men uh, tend to not take a lot of baths, but it might be healing for you. You know, get some Epsom salt, get you some herbs or something, throw it up in there, you know, shit. And let it all just, you know. <laughs> I got a, I got a, a, a image in my head and I ain't even going to say nothing because that's not cool. I'm going to keep that to myself. These hit the floor, but I'm not going to take it. All right. And what this is, is uh, an indication that someone is going through a spiritual transformation here. Um, you know, this is between you and the divine. It's a uh, karmic cycle is ending with the Aiku card. This is another indication of Scorpio. This is a Scorpio card. All right. But they hit the ground, so I'm not going to take them. Uh, my guys are saying no groundies today. All right, I seen the devil card when the cops come out again. Uh, again, I said again. It didn't come out earlier, but some of these cards is giving off that fear energy. All right, so why Scorpio here? Tell me about Scorpio. Scorpio is trying to hide, but I got you, Scorpio. Mm. <laughs> so if somebody's dealing with a Scorpio that has strong Earth, Gemini camp, uh, Gemini camp, somebody dealing with a Cancer too. Okay, so someone is dealing with a Scorpio that may have Gemini, Capricorn, or Virgo in their chart heavily. OK, or there will be some type of change during these uh, dates. OK, so whenever those, you know, Capricorn season started, it was a change or uh, whenever Taurus season started or vice versa, you will be experiencing some kind of changes um, surrounding these signs or these seasons. Okay, and are around your tangible goods. 
associated with the Scorpio. Why? Okay, yeah. So we have the nine of Earth here. So someone is definitely um, planting seeds. Okay, so, you know, you may have planted these seeds during this time. Okay. Or you may be receiving a harvest during this time. But, you know, there might be healing for some of you during this time. Okay, and you might have some type of transformation done. Uh, you might have some type of transformation done. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini or. Oh, I said that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but this is also about Mercury as well. All right. So, so you guys are needing to definitely. Um, maybe you're going through a transformation having to do with your communication. Maybe Mercury has you a little bit uh, off. And we have the four of water here. So someone is missing um, or feel like they missed out on an opportunity somewhere. Someone just, you know, for some of you, your perception is being, the way you perceive things is being transformed. You are also, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's karmic cycle, another indication of karmic cycle. Some of you may have experienced this during, um, right now, Aquarius season, yeah. Uh, you might feel some type of restriction having to do with your communication. Um, the way you communicate might be going through some type of transformation. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, this also came out for Aries. So this is definitely about, um, endings, right? Something is ended. For many of you, it might be happening now. It might have happened last Aquarius season. Um, some of you are going into environmentalism, like you might be a gardener or planting your own herbs or something like that. Um, you might be. I'm getting reinventing. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a reinvention taking place here. And this is the four of air. This is, um, yeah, no coming back. There's no coming. This is ending. All right. So this is, this is going to be a definite ending for somebody. All right. Yeah. Someone, um, I do feel... The outcast card is definitely wanting to, someone has been outcast and at the bottom of the deck we have someone healing here with the nine of fire. Hmm. You could be I'm getting Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Alright. Um who is this? Is this this Leo, yeah, you, yeah. This is your card as well, Leo. Okay, so you, there's some some healing being uh, taking place right now. Some of you is with your um, your livelihood in general. Um, you know, is some of you is having to do with your ego, right? And this is why is you feel like you're attacked, like you don't have any spiritual protection. Um, you know, and in, in real in actuality, you do. You know, some of you are finding a hard time expressing yourself. You know, that's why you feel like your creativity is blocked. It's something you need to learn to, to end this cycle. Why is Taurus here? 
maybe the way you perceive love maybe realizing that you need love why is Taurus here true love someone definitely <clears throat> wants to end uh, something with the Scorpio yeah this is a message of fire there this is a message someone is saying uh, through this reading that it's over I've walked through the hot coals for your damn ass for this situation for this job for this project and it, it needs to be burnt and purified that's what I'm getting someone wants purification yeah they feel like I gave you the best that I gave you you know all my good energy I gave you the best I you know I I climbed the social ladder for this shit <laughs> yeah you want to move away you want to bring balance to the situation balance your mind your body and your spirit oh here we go fire element come through we ain't playing all right so someone is yeah someone is feeling defensive they you know hmm, they want justice they feel uh um they want to re rebel. They re they they're ready to reinvent themselves. Yeah, some of you feel uh, caught off guard. You don't you you feel defenseless. You don't know what's going to happen, and that's where the transformation starts, right? What is message? What is the message from fire? Yeesh. Okay, the message from fire is. <laughs> yeah, that it's time for you to cut your losses for some of you. All right, learn your lessons. You know, a, a re regarding this Taurus, uh, you maybe you got left out in the cold um, by this person. It could be your child's mother for some of you. you. You, some of you are dealing with Virgos. You may have learned a lot from this particular situation. I'm really feeling like some of you may be into pottery you might be going you know you might be working with your hands this is another artistry card um you know some of you may feel like you are starving artists and you you having to reinvent the way that you make money or the person that you're dealing with is having to reinvent the way that they uh make money but here we have the babalu Orisha and this is a corresponding card such as the magician and you have all the tools here you have the protection you have the spiritual protection you have the fire you have the water you have the sword of truth here and you have the hand of God and you have the light you have the power and the ability to transform this situation. That's what I'm getting. Some of you um, are Aries. I see it in the card. All right. This is about expansion. This is about learning from this karmic situation. Taking the torch and carrying the torch. Uh, that's how we clear generational curses, right? And then we have the Six of Earth. This is about bringing balance. Here we have another card for um, the goat. Or I always see this card as Capricorn, Aries, and Taurus. Okay, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But this is bringing balance to, to a situation. This is a Taurus card. 
I feel like you do feel some restriction in this situation. Yeah. Maybe because, uh, I don't know, what you're seeking is going to take some discipline. You're going to have to have some structure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting um, the limitations uh, exceed limitations or what you think is a limitating uh, a limitating thing about yourself. Like, yeah, because the, the, that cycle is over. Some of you may be feeling like you may, you know, you might have had like a childhood where you got picked on a lot or not acknowledged. Why is Avenger here? Or not given like love. Like your, you did the way that you were shown love. Ooh, yeah. Some of you are dealing with the Capricorn or you may have it strong or heavily in your chart. But you have a fear. And then we have the, the air element as well. So some of you are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. All right. So some of you, you know, with this Leo energy, I, I don't want people to let their fears overtake them. And put yourself in the shadow aspect, okay? Um, and do something that might, you know, like don't don't push too hard. Like don't try to resort to something illegal to satisfy someone or something. You know, like like you have to be, you know, you have to surrender that, and then. You know, someone feels like they won't get justice. There's a fear around it. Okay, this could be having to do with a Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius, um, or around those seasons. Something may have happened to you or surrounding. I'm getting it. Someone's child. Um, message from air. Spirit wants me to go. Yeah. Okay. So, Spirit wants me to go to the book for... The message from air. It's in the back of the book. I know it. But for some reason, it all is... It's always so hard getting to this. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So message from air. This is my protection card. Okay. And this is about having your guides there through your time of healing. All right. Or... Some of you are needing to call on your guides or whatever it is you believe in. If you believe in the fairies and all of that shit, I do feel like some some of you with that with that. Wow. Okay, with that devil energy here, some of you feel like you, you misplacing things, right? That's that's a funny download. Okay, I feel like some someone feels like they're misplacing things and. Um, like if you believe in fairies and stuff like that, that that's this is a message for you. <laughs> you you someone feels like there's little fairies still in their shit. You know, those are for little the witchies people. Oh, the witchies. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, all right. Um, but others you just feel like you you know you're misplacing things, you're losing things, and it's causing you um, to have to spend money like on those things and, I'm, and the message that I'm getting is for some of you is like do you really need these things and that's you know 
something having to do with ego for some of you. All right. Um, maybe you have some connection to your material things. And that is a lesson that some of you are needing to learn. And you may have learned that from this connection that you're getting out of for some of you I'm getting. Okay. Um, it may be in a material based connection. All right. So this is about having protective streaks and uh, your wishes being granted and neutralizing the actions of malfactors. OK. All right. This is ethereal and light. All right. This is a messenger. This is about um, endless uh, innocence and dreams coming true, purity and birth. This is a fairy that grants wishes and protects creators. Uh, she drives her heavenly magic from one hand to the other, closing a wonderful circle of creation with, uh, trinkle, with uh, tinkling and shining stars. Oh, isn't that cute? Hey, little fairy. <laughs> Don't get mad because I did that because some of y'all need to just lighten up and I, can, I get it. You know, when uh, for the ego is like a hard thing in the 3D. The ego is fucking hard, man. Why is the devil here? Oh, it's getting so long. <laughs> okay, the two of her. The devil is here because you are in a karmic cycle. Okay, and you are being restricted. And you need to break, three, break free and use that Avenger spirit to you know check your own goddamn self that's what one of my guys is saying you need you need some discipline you need to you know not go for everything that's tempted you need to bring balance to your here we go with the balance to your five senses use them motherfuckers that's what somebody oh wow i hear somebody saying use them motherfuckers okay so this is ashala this is the emperor card all right this is about 